Gemini's welcome. This is your mid-January heart spread read, a love, romance, and relationship reading. Here, we're looking at you coming in with the devil energy. This is your energy in and around love and relationships. Stay with me. I think this is an important reading. And this is your person coming in with this Queen of Swords energy. The bottom of the deck, interestingly, is the King of Swords. So, Gemini, I've got a complicated reading here. Um, there's something of a perfect match with you two. I think the overall energy does represent you somehow. Um, it is air energy. I mean, this could literally be you. Um, um, kind of taking control there's a male female element with them coming in now with the queen of swords uh, they could well be an air sign you know uh, Gemini uh, Libra Aquarius energy Sun Moon Rising or Venus I should always say um, but you come in with the devil that's why I say bear with me because I think it's an important uh, reading okay um, clearly, if this is your reading, you have to cop to, uh, around love and romance and relationship, this obsessive sort of energy would be a pattern, would be something you've been dealing with for a long time. Um, it's going to be expressed into this relationship. Here, you see the six of wands is your energy as you react to them. And when I see the devil and the six of wands, it's kind of your energy in general, which is you're, you're out of control. You're kind of too much at the uh, behest of your lower nature. You're indulging somehow. Uh, could be, you know, obsessions, control issues, jealousy, uh, fear, uh, uh, this kind of thing. This, this kind of lower vibrational energy in terms of relationship um, manifests a lot as fear. Really, I got to tell you, Jim, uh, wherever Pluto Venus is in, in your in Capricorn at 25 degrees. That's really the one that counts. I mean, it's uh, going up to 10 now. It's getting ready to go uh, back to uh, all the way to 24. So it's going to hit the Venus point uh, here. This Mercury retrograde revisiting it. Um, but this was something, if you got into this recently, it's really probably around this. And this is a lesson. I say why this is important. With justice here, this is your advice in this relationship, how to best kind of use this relationship energy, best approach this relationship energy, how to best approach this person, right? And I think you do have a relationship here. The king and queen of swords shows this. But justice here means, justice is an opportunity. Justice is karma. Justice is um, also a choice, you know, there's scales here. And so you can choose, I believe, with this relationship, because this air sign person, sun, moon, rising, or Venus here, Gemini, is coming in, and about you, they are making a choice. And I believe that it lies in your hands. This energy is, is your out-of-control energy. It's important. I think they're looking through this. It's kind of shallow, the Six of Wands. It's kind of look at me, hooray for me. You may be feeling in some way coming in with this king of swords energy too that you're this is a triumph you have triumph somehow um and for your person there's some kind of a choice involved very well could have been someone else uh, but i believe they're ready uh, to choose in your favor and when you look at their advice from spirit being the magician this really works beautifully with your advice being justice i believe all relationships are karmic they're all about energy and balancing and soul work. And we are doing this all together because we're all one thing and our soul family. And this person comes in. It's no mistake. They have the magician energy in relation to you. So they're prepared to help you really in terms of a transformation. You know, when Pluto gets involved, it's always a transformation. And that's why I say, if you look at what's going on with Pluto uh, later degrees of Capricorn and Venus right now. This retrograde energy is so powerful there in Capricorn with Pluto tied into it. This is right exactly when we would finish a transformation, a Plutonic process of transformation. It will be seen in our natal charts and our predictive charts by 
There are a lot about where Pluto is there and what that's doing for us personally. But this person's coming in and in relationship, they're kind of joining this transformation. It could signal that the transformation is over and it's like you come out of it and look what you get, this person here. Guys, this is not a bad thing. Um, here, this is the advice from Spirits, the High Priestess card. This is uh, what is best for the relationship as a whole. And you guys, you got to go deep with this relationship. Um, I, I, I don't like uh, the woo-woo associated with the past life. And it gets kind of a little like a narcissist -y, You know, it's like, oh, look at me. I was this, I was that. But there is something going on between you guys at a very deep level. I mean, it could be expressed by, you know, uh, dreams, uh, symbolism being similar, waking up, uh, having similar dreams, uh, being able to connect with each other. Uh, this is a very moon, moon, moon card. This is a Pisces energy here, the High Priestess too. Um, the twelfth house energy. Look at that in your natal chart. Look at that in your sinistry. Here with the 7th and 8th card, I consider this like more of what would be in your composite chart, if you know that in your relationship. Um, perhaps you have a 12th house sun in your composite. Uh, perhaps you have a, a sun in Venus or a rising in Venus in your relationship composite with this person that's on your mind, this air sign. So, outcome, 7 of Pentacles. Man, this is not a sexy outcome, but it implies to me that there is a relationship here now. Um, there's a process going on, and this is really bringing this grounding to this energy here, which is really nebulous, 12th house, soft, and but you need this. This is how this magician is going to be able to uh, bring balance to the situation and what how I think this will work here Jim and I you will begin to see with this person and by relating to this person with justice here your advice from spirit let it let let you make an effort at this as well um, these past patterns and how they're playing and I believe what's going to happen with this person they will not trigger you and you will be blown away by this. You maybe already are if you're with them already. This is what you have to consider. This is not an accident, okay? And they may be making some effort. You know, they're, this is the kind of person they'll be able to understand. If you, they understand what your triggers are. Maybe you don't even have to tell them, okay? You don't even have to tell them that such and such might trigger you. kind of can figure it out because they love you. They care about you. They're smart. Air sign here. It might be Aquarius energy for them. Um, and they understand, you know, how things work, how humans work, how feelings work. And they're really being encouraged here to go deep here and connect with you. And I believe this too coming here, this is the core of the heart spread, the crux of the heart spread. This is all about a soulmate connection here. And it may take some time to kind of let this kind of come together. But then in the outcome, this is you guys that going back to the nuts and bolts and putting it together and both of you looking at how this relationship works and how it works for you or maybe how it doesn't work for you and really working it out in a very realistic and practical way and actually with the seven of pentacles this could indicate union because when you come together it's a lot of process you know it's like uh, I don't really think you need all your furniture in my house, especially that old couch. Why don't we just put that on the street? And you're like, I'm mm, not going to need the old couch. Just practical things. Um, and, and look in that uh, in a very realistic way. Uh, because it, it normally this can deal with reciprocation issues, which is probably what got you into this devil energy to start with. And so now you're looking at something that's solid here. So I think your person's going to continue to come in solid and solid and solid. And that you're kind of thinking with this devil, six of wands energy. Uh, why do I, Why am I taking this seriously? It's sort of not wanting to be vulnerable, not wanting to fall, not wanting to fall in love, really. And having that depth of experience here with a person. And more and more, you're going to see the nuts and bolts of it. And, oh, maybe it takes seven months, you know, for you to really... Feel, and you're feeling like, well, maybe the other shoe isn't going to uh, drop. Maybe this person is solid. Maybe they are worth my investment of all the energy that I put into a relationship. Um, 
And this, you know, I would just say this too, Gemini. It's like with this energy of the devil and the six of wands, it's not good. And it is not fulfilling. And uh, it's just going to not going to lead into your higher purpose and, and being happy. And, you know, so this whole relationship here, justice huge. The justice is huge here. I'm tempted to read it uh, from the book because I happen to use my oldest deck. And uh, actually has uh, all the cards uh, listed. Um, and I feel like with this Justice card, this is a turning point in your life. Definitely in terms of relationship. I'll put it this way. If you don't deal with this now, you're going to deal with it forever until you deal with it. And I think this person comes with the magician here is a blessing. You're coming in here with spirit's advice to help you and go deep. And maybe you rewrite this program and you come out of it in a very solid way. Seven of Pentacles, too, is taking control. Taking solid control. This is what the Gilded Tarot Classic says about the Justice card. The personification of justice stands with the past and the future held in her hands. The scales represent the karmic balance of life that must be maintained. The image of the sun is you directly in the middle of your past and your future. Justice is blindfolded. She has no power to help you or to hurt you. You have made your own karma. Whatever you have done in the past will now determine your future. The message of justice is clear. You make your own future by your actions. You are at a point, I think this is the important part, you are at a point where you are questioning why something is happening. Look to your past actions. How have they created the current situation? This is a time for taking responsibility for your life. So, I'll stop there. There's a little bit more about the warning, but that's really not relevant here. Um, this is the time for taking responsibility for your life. And also, you have help with this. Okay? Um, this person's making a choice. They probably feel they're just making a choice, right? But I don't see yeah, it. It's like it was written. You guys wrote a contract spiritually long before you were incarnated. And here, this is the time for you. If You always have free will. But what a perfect time, Gemini, for you to embrace uh, this person and go deep um, and uh, uh, start a relationship with whoever this is that's on your mind. I think uh, relationships are how we grow spiritually. And this is a big one for you. Big point for you. So thank you guys. Let me know with a like if you like this. If you could think of anywhere to share this on any platforms, social platforms, please do. You could use the help here. Do subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. Hit that bell. Thank you guys.